what's your name? I'm Maddie. Maddie, okay. What are you guys doing eating ice cream cones out here in the middle of the winter? We're actually procrastinating. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, tests to study for and whatnot, but ice cream seemed like a better idea for us. So what are you studying here? Um, I'm studying political science and journalism. <laughs> political science is neat. Uh, well, we're just uh, we're going around here just asking people some uh, religious questions and that. And Have you had much of a religious background? Um, yeah, I was raised Catholic. I still practice, but not so much when I'm at school. Mm -hmm. So how do you believe someone is a Catholic? How do you believe someone goes to heaven? What, what must they do to, to go to heaven? To go to heaven, um, I guess uh, my whole, I don't know, view is just the whole good person. Do unto others what you would like them to do unto you. I believe in forgiveness, and I think God wants us to go to heaven. So, so Maddie, um, do you think you're a good person then? Or? I think I'm a good person, but I definitely have my faults, like I think everyone does. I try to be a good person and do the right thing. Do you think you've kept the Ten Commandments? And um, I have definitely broken commandments, which, you know, sucks, but I think I can still, you know, work my way on to heaven. So you got to work your way there? Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, do you, uh, let's just look at a couple of the Ten Commandments. Do you think you've, have you ever told a lie? Uh, yes. I have told so what do you call myself. someone who tells a lie? A liar. <laughs> okay. Have you ever have you ever stolen anything? Um, I am guilty of stealing. I'm sorry about that. Too. Okay. Have you ever uh, used God's name in in vain or in blasphemy? Yeah, that's probably the commandment that I think is the worst. Like that, I feel the worst about breaking. But I I definitely have. Yeah. Well, God considers that very serious. You know, when we take His name in vain. Um. And Jesus said. Uh, you've heard it said of old, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I tell you, if you but look at someone with lust, you commit adultery to the heart. So have you ever looked at anyone with lust? Uh, yes, I have looked at someone with lust. <laughs> so Maddie, according to your own admission, uh, you told me you're a liar, a thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer at heart. So, so, so if, if God were to judge you by the standard of the Ten Commandments, we only looked like, four of them. Would do you, would you find you innocent or guilty? Um, I guess he would have to find me guilty, but I don't think that that means that he is not willing to forgive me. If I'm genuinely sorry. So do you think God should send you to heaven or hell then? Um, I think God should send me to heaven, but I'm obviously... But, but you just told me that you've broken his laws. Don't you think... God should punish lawbreakers? Like I've said a couple times, I think forgiveness is the main thing. I think God wants us to succeed in getting to heaven. And I think it's normal for people to make mistakes and to break rules. But if God is good, you know, the Bible teaches that God is good, you know. I mean, and here on earth, you know, judges, we consider them corrupt if they were to let, uh, you know, murderers and rapists go. We'd say, oh, that's a corrupt judge if they just let him off the cuff, you know. Yeah. But God is good, and he's not corrupt. He's going to punish murderers and rapists. But he's not going to stop there. He's going to punish sin wherever it's found. He's going to punish, you know, liars. The Bible says all liars love their place in the lake of fire, and no thief, no adulterer can inherit the kingdom of God. And that's, that's what the Bible teaches, you know. So, do you think um, God should send you to heaven or hell for breaking his laws? I still believe that God should send me to heaven. I don't think that that's necessarily what you want me to say because you've made a very good point. But well, just let's let's take that in, like in a courtroom, you know. Um, you know, let's say you're guilty of breaking a very serious crime. You know, let's say you've murdered someone or something like that. <laughs> killed her dog or whatever but um and you say to the judge you know you know judge i'm just hoping you'll overlook my crime because i you know i'm hoping you know i'm i'm a good person and i'm gonna try and do good from now on you think the judge is gonna let you go no i don't and i don't think the judge should let me go yeah because he'd be considered corrupt then right life on earth is different than our life in heaven 
and well, it's true it'll be different but God is a good good judge if I murdered someone, I would fully expect to go to jail for the rest of my life, but I would not necessarily expect to go to hell. Well, have you ever hated anyone? No, I've never hated anyone. Um, so you don't think, you think you just have to do good works to get to heaven, right? You, you, you think if you do enough good deeds, God's going to over, hopefully overlook your crime and looking what you've done wrong it's about you know being seeking forgiveness and truly feeling sorry for what you've done wrong and I think that when something happens in my life that makes me feel I need to really seek that forgiveness I will do that and so how do you access that forgiveness what access that forgiveness um I guess where's that forgiveness found because we can't you know, like I was saying, a judge just can't let you off the cuff, you know. who? How do you get that forgiveness? Well, for Catholics, you go and you, you know, have confession with a priest and everything. But I think it's also just really deeply personal how you want to pray, pray or how your relationship is, your faith or whatever. I think you just know there's a feeling of calm when you have found forgiveness. Okay, well, I'd just like to share a little bit, you know, what I believe. And I believe none of us, me, me included, we've, we've all broken God's laws, you know. And we all deserve, <laughs> we, we've all deserved God's wrath. You know, we all deserve to go to hell. Because God is so good and so holy. He cannot, he, we, yeah, because compared to God, you know, who's so holy, we've all broken his laws. And the Bible says that, you know, all lawbreakers will, should go to hell in that, you know. But I believe that um, we can have forgiveness uh, through Jesus Christ, not through a priest. We don't go to a priest for forgiveness because they're just, they've broken God's lies just like the rest of us. But we go to Jesus. And 2,000 years ago, God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for you, Maddie. And for me, you know, and he became sin for us, you know. God killed his only son for our sin. You know, we deserve to be on the cross. I deserve to be up there because I've offended God. And that was my death penalty. But instead of killing me or killing you, God killed his only son. So you don't have to go to hell. But you can never do enough good works during God's favor, you know. The Bible says that God considers our good deeds like filthy rags. And the only way we can get forgiven is if we repent. And that's not just saying, oh, God, I'm sorry, you know. know. <laughs> it's Repentance is a life change. It's forsaking your sins. It's turning from them. And then putting your trust in Jesus' work. Not putting your trust in good works because good works will never save you, you know. It's putting your trust in Christ's work because Christ you know, it was totally righteous, you know. And if you do that, you'll pass from death to life. And God will look on you as totally righteous then. He'll see Christ there. He won't see, you know, Maddie or, you know, or my sins, you know. He'll see Christ, you know, if you repent and put your trust in Christ. So I just encourage you to, maybe tonight, just kind of think about what, what I've been saying. Just think about your sins and, just think of how you've offended God, you know. But then think of think of Christ and how he paid your fine so you won't don't have to die. And if you repent and put your trust in Christ, he'll give you a new heart with new desires and you no longer have to fear death, but you'll, you know, you'll spend eternity praising God in heaven and that for how good he is in that, but well, thanks for tagging with me. Yeah, thank you. It's Maddie yeah. and Emily. Emily, okay. Do you do you want to tag or? Okay, <laughs> I think you heard it all.